So just wanted to bring you guys up to speed as to what's going on. Had a little bit of a lull in videos lately. I'm on vacation and in the middle of all that, um, my red expedition got rear-ended by a drunk driver the other night. So that's in the body shop getting fixed. So what I did is I bought another car. Here's a 2008 Kia Sorento. And uh, this thing's in really good shape. What I wanted to do was kind of use it to commute in because the miles are just getting racked up on my expedition and I want to keep the mileage low on it. It's a nice trek. It's from down south. And um, I'll have some videos coming up on this thing. It's a 08. I think they made these from, I'm doing this off the top of my head, probably like 06, maybe 07, 08, 09, and then around there. And um, let's take a quick walk around this thing i'll show you what it looks like there aren't a whole lot of these on the road i've been kind of looking around since i bought this thing and i really don't see too many so I just picked this car up for 4300 bucks it's pretty clean if i had to take a guess at it an older person may have owned it, it the paint on it's pretty good which leads me to believe it might have may have been garage there's a few things in it from probably the parking lot the interior is really clean on it you know it isn't all messed up or anything like that um, you know, the steering wheel's nice on it, dash is nice, it has a hundred grand on it, just turned a hundred grand, and, uh, it's a four-door, and it's four-wheel drive, so, like, the four-wheel drive switch is right here, it's in two-wheel drive, and then you can put it in four high, four low, so it's kind of cool, so I can keep my other truck out of the salt, um, we're up here in the northeast, and the salt eats everything alive, and the back is pretty good, I showed you guys how to look for cars before, you know, we always look at the door jams, you know, under the doors, kind of look them over pretty good. By the interior, a lot of times you can get a good idea how the vehicle is maintained by the interior. You know, this wasn't all ratted up and stained and ripped or anything. So this is what the back of the car looks like. And uh, it's a pretty cool looking car. It's not bad. So under the hood of this thing is a 3.3 V6. And, um, you know, it's pretty clean. It's in good shape. The only pain in the butt thing about this car is the spark plugs look like a nightmare to do. It's a six banger, and uh, you have to take the top of the plenum off, I believe, to get a, the plugs. But maybe we'll tackle that in the spring. We'll do a video on that. I ordered some brakes from Detroit Axle. They carry some really good brakes, and um, you know we'll do a four wheel brake job on this car. And they've got a little bit of a a little bit of a transmission leak in it on the one of the lines, I believe. Looks like it may be coming from around the transmission cooler area up the front of the car. So we'll throw it on Steve's lift, we'll chase that down, see where it's leaking from, and we'll fix that too. So growing up, you know, I, my father was an auto body man, he's 81 now, I talk about him all the time. Me, Steve, and my dad grew up in the body shop, you know, swinging wrenches. Steve and I did a lot of mechanic work, my dad always did the body work. Steve and I run brake drops, tune-ups, exhaust work, you name it, but that's what we did. So other videos that are coming up, are I have a, a new radio going into the Wrangler that we have. Uh, I got a 2017 Wrangler we just bought, and the screen's kind of... Um, fuzzy off and on uh, somebody reached out to us wanted to know if we could put a radio in a Wrangler we just kind of locked up with that and uh, we'll be doing that in a few weeks we also have um, somebody gave us a it's like a GPS uh, mapping screen so it's a touch screen um, in my expedition and this car here I don't have like CarPlay I have an iPhone so uh, it'll work with that and I believe Android as well so we'll put that in and show you guys how that works and uh, some cool stuff coming up. So definitely stay tuned. Thanks for watching the channel, guys.